big message of the book of Revelation, written by the Apostle John here on the island of Patmos, is God wins. But how does God win? It's through Jesus Christ. He is the conquering Lord, the Lord that overthrows sin, death and evil. He is the ruler of the universe. So it's strange then in the book of Revelation, Jesus is referred to more than 30 times as a lamb. It's a weird image to use for the conquering Lord. Lambs are meek. Lambs are mild. Lambs are silly and noisy like these goats over here. And so why does John call Jesus a lamb? Well, first, to understand that, we have to go back to John's Gospel, where John the Baptist refers to Jesus as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. There's a connection between the Lamb and taking away sin. Now, to understand that connection, we have to go all the way back to the second book of the Bible, the book of Exodus, where Israel is enslaved in Egypt for 400 years. And God is going to rescue His people, redeem His people out of this slavery. And how does He do it? Ultimately, He does it by the sacrifice of a lamb. The blood of the lamb is what saves Israel. And so in Israelite expectation, every year when they celebrate the Passover meal and remember that deliverance, they're making a connection between salvation and the sacrifice of the lamb. So when John the Baptist looks at Jesus and says, hey, look, there's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. For an Israelite, they're going to go, ah, Passover, ah, redemption out of Egypt, freedom from slavery. And this ultimately is how the Lamb of God, Jesus, overthrows evil. We are rescued out of our captivity to sin and death because Jesus the Lamb lays down His life and sheds His blood to rescue us from sin and death.